my video about Field of Glory Cavalry. Um, in this video we're going to be talking about the types of cavalry, uh, similar troop types, uh, cavalry armies, and then it'll be followed on by another video which uh, we talk about cavalry and anti-cavalry tactics. So uh, cavalry are of course a type of mounted troops and basically that's what I'll be talking about in these videos are mounted troops. Um, some of the characteristics of mounted troops are that uh, medium foot warriors, bowmen, light foot or mob, testing having lost close combat even partly against mounted troops have minus one applied to their cohesion tests. So you want that to be applied when you're charging into the flank something um, and another feature of cavalry units is they're generally smaller than foot units so foot units generally have a melee advantage of uh, sheer numbers um, uh, however mounted troops charged in the flank by infantry do not lose a cohesion level and mounted troops include all types that I'm going to mention except elephants um, and mounted troops ignore flanks they do not have a minus one cohesion test modifier for having an enemy behind their flank who is able to charge onto it which infantry do so the types of horse cavalry that we've got are three types and they are light horse which is split into javelin bow sword and, and lance type troops uh, then there's the type that is actually called cavalry um, just basically heavy cavalry with uh, they can be armed with light spear bow and sword half bow and light spear half bow and lance and or lances and finally there are cataphracts which are the very heavily armored troops um, knights were included in Fog 1, but they are not available yet in Fog 2. So first of all, I'll talk about light cavalry. Um, so, in this video, I'm just basically talking about the characteristics. So, the actual, most of the technical information will be in the next one. So, um, light horse are fast moving. They can move five squares per turn and can turn twice. So, so because they have 20 action points they can even turn around and shoot um, light horse usually you can evade and because they can move so fast an evade move is likely to succeed um, so they don't do much damage often but they can dart in and dart out again that's their function um javelin and arm like cavalry may seem to be a rather useless troop type uh, because they have to get so close to superior troops to shoot at them and they, they can't fight them and they do little damage. They may even get caught in the rear if they charged. Troops take cohesion tests if they lose a round of close combat and this might happen if a javelin or lance like cavalry unit hit the flank of medium foot bowman warriors mob or light foot. In that case, the unit testing would do so at minus one. Um, so the, the javelin arm like cavalry are really good at darting in and hitting something like mob or bowmen or um, these other troop types that have been damaged in some way or other. And that can actually cause them to lose um, a cohesion level become disrupted or something like that uh, okay so the first type of uh, light cavalry is uh, the bow arm light cavalry um, bows have, on horseback have a two square range uh, they do not have a long range um, this gives them high firepower but they have a weak charge so if they're charged they generally will evade uh, even if they're charged by other horse archers they might evade um, they have 
good melee though, uh, some of them, because uh, such as the Nomad Light Horse Archers, uh, because they have swords. So in the second round of combat, they can actually be better than Javelin Arm Light Horse. Um, and because they are able to shoot up anything they can't fight, they're very versatile because they can just run away from anything that might kill them. And also the two hex or two sorry two square range means they can shoot up elephants well because they can stay the distance away from elephants that means they don't get disordered by elephants. Um, however they do cost more because of these extra capabilities. Um, and uh, even so though, um, some armies have superior light horse with bows, uh, which improves both their morale and their shooting and their combat. Um, and because their strategy is to shoot at the enemy, you need to have a long-term strategy for winning with them. So you have to chip away at your opponent. You won't get them all in one go, but you will get them eventually. Um, the most famous horse archers are the Scythians, the Huns, the Mongols, and the Parthians. And one thing to be wary of is not to confuse Nomad Light Horse Archers with Nomad Light Horse, because Nomad Light Horse are actually cavalry. Uh, next we come to Javelin Arm Light Horse. These, are, these only have a short range and low firepower. But if you've got enough of them, you can still cause a cohesion drop from shooting. They have a strong charge, um, but their melee is nothing special uh, because none of them have swords. Um, they're excellent for causing fragmented troops to rout by charging them and can disrupt medium or light infantry by charging them in the flank. Um, not much. They're supposed to have a chance of charging light infantry frontally, but it's very chancy. It, it quite sometimes fails completely. Um, but having them running around in the enemy um, is very good for catching troops that have become fragmented. They are cheap troops, and therefore they're good for putting on the uh, flank of the army where you just want to slow the enemy down. Uh, and uh, they are ineffective against heavy infantry, except in large numbers. They can sometimes seem useless, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but it's basically a matter of um, being patient with them. Sometimes they work quite well. Um, they are also useful in close terrain where longer range of bow armed by horse can be blocked. The most famous uh, are were the Thracians, the Numidians and the Tarentines. Although there isn't a, I don't think there's a Tarentine army, but Tarentine is actually a troop type. Um, some light horse such as the Macedonian Prodromoid are actually armed with lances. So they can't shoot, but they have a very powerful charge. And the Macedonian Prodromoid are actually elite troops. So they're very good in melee um, and very even better than um, Javelin Arm Cavalry for doing things like converting fragmented troops into routed troops and charging the flanks of medium or light infantry. Um, and you could even charge them into the front of other troops and expect them to stick there, possibly. Um, they will eventually get ground down, but if you need somebody to stick in the front, sometimes they'll do the job. Uh, also, <laughs> I've even seen them sit there surrounded by enemy troops, all trying to have a go at them, but because they're elite, they don't rout until they've lost nearly all their, tro all their men. Um, and because they've got lances, they don't evade. So that tends to be their fate, you know, being surrounded and chopped up. Um, 
So as I mentioned, cavalry in Field of Glory 2 is a specific term and it means what in other rules would have been called heavy cavalry. Um, they should not be expected to be able to charge heavy infantry and win, even if they have lances. What they will do though is charge in, break off, and then you can charge them again on the following turn. Um, they're very good at flank and rear charges and for fighting light horse and light infantry. They often do well against medium infantry and when it, once they start pursuing things the results can be quite dramatic. They might um, pursue one unit, then hit another, route that one, and then hit another one, and route that as well, because of their good moves. And again, Nomad Light Horse are protected cavalry, and not Light Horse. So, um, because they can't expect to win against uh, infantry, you have to be prepared to um, fall back with them, uh, or break off if they are going to combat. And also you have to watch out for shooters, uh, um, they can in fairly easily be shot up. Um, so watch how close you get to the archers, javelmen and slingers. Uh, all types of cavalry have 16 army point, uh, action points, allowing a four square move. And as I mentioned before, check the unit description carefully to see what exactly they are. Um, next in our types of cavalry, we have light spear arm cavalry. Um, and these are good all round troops, but they won't, like uh, others, they won't do well against heavy infantry necessarily. And again, they'll break off rather than um, stick around. And they are good at chasing lighter cavalry and medium or light infantry. Um, and superior, one thing to note is that superior protected cavalry are better than average armored cavalry. Um, and they are very versatile because they will evade if, if, if something nastier than them charges them. Um, bow and sword arm cavalry are also quite uh, flexible. Um, these are mobile fire platforms, so they basically are not meant to get into combat until they've shot up their opponents. And they do shoot up things quite well. Um, but once they get into melee, they can be just as good as other cavalry because they've got swords. Um, and just like uh, the uh, light spear arm cavalry, they will evade if charged. There is also a um, intermediate troop type with half bow and half light spear or half bow and half lance. These are really good troops. They behave like they have the 100% of each um, because probably because they're superior and superior improves your shooting as well as your fight as well as your fighting power. Um, so if you can get these in your army they are versatile and valuable troops. And the final type of Field of Glory Cavalry is Cavalry with Lance, that is Cavalry the, in the Field of Glory sense. So Lancers are good for defeating other Cavalry because they're the top dog, um, and also light or medium infantry, but they still tend to bounce off heavy infantry, especially with the latest rule am amendments. Um, they still seem to bounce if you charge them into heavy infantry. Um, so you've got to prepare the charges by shooting or something like that. Um, any troops testing for having to lost impact phase against lancers had minus one applies to their cohesion test. And lancers do not evade a charge, so they're not as versatile as the um, light spear armed cavalry, but they get a better factor in uh, 
the uh, impact phase and they also get the cohesion test modifier in their favor as well so you have to be prepared to um, fall back with them if they're facing infantry or something like that unless you want to just charge them in and uh, watch them uh, break off that's quite a legitimate thing to do And the last type of uh, horse troops are the cataphracts and or cataphractoid. The cataphracts are fully armoured and this gives them really good melee capabilities and staying power. Um, they're also usually superior and they have lances. So they used to be only good for defeating cavalry and they were very good at that, but um, now they've been improved so you can use them with some success against infantry as well um, however they are slower moving and unmaneuverable so you be careful where you place them at the start of the game and don't let them get near elephants because elephants will beat them up because elephants ignore all that armor um, one thing to watch out for too is that rough terrain severely disorders cataphracts and they only have a three square move So now let's talk about some alter alternatives to horse um, mounted troops. Um, these are all similar to cavalry, but different. So there's cavalry, elephants, light chariots, heavy chariots, and side chariots. Cavalry are basically cavalry that look different. Um, their only difference from cavalry is that they disorder other mounted troops, such as cavalry, if they come too close to them. They even disorder their own um, cavalry, so they can be difficult to mix into your army for that reason. Um, but uh, at least friendly uh, cavalry are only slightly disordered if they come next to them. They will uh, run away if they haven't got lances and they can shoot if they got bows. Uh, they have no special capabilities in deserts. And um, they move the same speed as cavalry, four squares a turn. Elephants, yeah, everybody loves elephants. Um, elephants in Field of Glory are fantastic. They, they only have the one disadvantage, basically, which is that uh, uh, when they route, they um, have a much larger testing area for routes than normal troops do. That's about it. Um, apart from their slower speed. Um, anyway, so the big thing about elephants is that any troops testing for them um, get a minus one of their cohesion test, and cavalry are disordered by them, even your own cavalry. But again, if it's your own cavalry, they're not as badly disordered as any. And elephants charged in the flank by cavalry do not drop a cohesion level. They do lose a cohesion level if charged by infantry in the flank. Um, so that was an ancient use for elephants, was as an anti-cavalry weapon, and that was quite effective. So um, if you've got elephants, point them at the enemy cavalry and, and see the mayhem being caused. Uh, as I mentioned, they are unmaneuverable and only have a three square move. Uh, but this still makes them excellent for use with pikes. Um, put them in the second rank with pikes, and then when the pikes charge home and follow up, they create gaps, and you can slot the elephants into the gaps. They're very good at doing that sort of thing. Next we come to light chariots. And light chariots are a very interesting troop type that are very popular. Um, they're popular because they behave like light cavalry but they're not light troops. 
And that means that if you charge something in the flank with a light cherry, it can cause an immediate cohesion drop. Um, conversely, if light horse charge the flank of a light chariot, they do not cause a cohesion drop on the chariot. Um, they move the same as cavalry, so 16 um, action points with four squares. Uh, although difficult terrain is impassable to them. And they can evade. So people love using ancient British armies because they get lots of these things. Um, and they're also usually superior. So when light cavalry charge them, they usually win. Heavy chariots, um, they're good for melee combat. Um, they move the same distance, but they're unmaneuverable. And rough terrain severely disorders them, while difficult terrain is impassable. Um, any troops having testing for lost combat with heavy chariots have minus one applied to their cohesion test. You don't often see heavy chariots because they're only in uh, the really ancient armies. And let's have a look at some cavalry armies. So the most famous cavalry armies are the Scythians, Sarmatians, Persians, Huns, Byzantines, Parthians, Thracians and Midians. Uh, Sarmatians, by the way, you can have an almost entirely Lancer armed cavalry army. Probably one of the ultimate cavalry armies. Um, but if you prefer more variety, maybe the Scythians. The other ones are more balanced. And that's all we've got for now. Uh, this video we'll be talking about uh, the tactics that you use. So there'll be more diagrams, less, less words. Um, and so we show you how to win a light horse skirmish, uh, light horse delaying tactics, light horse flank charges, charge, how to charge medium infantry, um, successfully charging lancers or heavy, heavy cavalry and heavy infantry and more. So thanks for watching.